I'm not going fishing, I'm going catching. Lake Calcasieu is located just below Lake Charles, Louisiana, smack dab in the middle of the sportsman's paradise. It's also called Big Lake. Everybody talks about this place for their big trout, and they do have an incredible trout fishery. They got a lot of other good stuff too. You know, our trip there was so good last year, we had to come back again. The lodging was great, the food was great, the atmosphere was great. You just can't say enough about it. On day two, we decided to get after some redfish. Captain Lee took us down the bayou, all the way out to the jetties. He said we'd be able to get on some good ones out there. And let me let y'all know, he hadn't ever let me down yet, and he certainly didn't on this day either. It was non-stop action. Yeah, get a bitch, let her fall right in here. It'll be a big school just sitting right in here too. So today we're out here early. It's chilly, cold. Uh, we're all bundled up. A little bit different today. We're gonna go down south. We're gonna fish in my bedroom today. So Ronnie, straight down, brother. Probably doesn't have a chance, but I might let him catch one or two. We'll see. So we're at the jetties today. Deep water here too. Same thing as yesterday with the deep water stuff, but a lot of current. How deep is it right here? You're at about 12 foot right there, maybe a little shallower, and then it drops off on a ledge. A lot, a lot of waves. Throwing in that boat cut just a little way, so really got to be in the right spot or you'll lose interest real quick down here. So there, there he is. Flack him. There Flack he is. Him. Flack, hey, Flack him, I'm going to go through the boat cut. And I get Ronnie to cast across, and he sticks a good one. Really good fish. And He's on the back side of the rock. Watch the spray. We blast through the boat bay and land this fish. And you ready, Cap? Big, big deal is boat positioning and lots of weight. Man, I'll tell you what, it's it's really a treat to have somebody on the boat that can handle a rod and reel. <laughs> it's the Welcome to the brickyard! <laughs> Welcome to the brickyard! And, and be prepared to make that move across the rocks right there because that's not something I can do with my customers every day. Woo, he's strong! So that was definitely a treat to have Ronnie on the boat. You got and, Cap. Yeah, uh, an asset for me out there on these. So right here is extreme red fishing. <laughs> we got about 80 billion cubic inches of water flying through that cut. Pitch it in there with a lot of weight. Hook up to a redfish. You better hang on because Captain Lee fit to put her through that hole. Tough, tough conditions big tide and you know that's not a very big redfish that's just a decent slot you know a real yeah, good slot strong in that water uh it can make things very tough for a guide out there Woo! That's a look good how fat that fish is he's yep. got girth yep. well i'll tell you what <laughs> that was fun <laughs> we're back out here again this morning we're just south of Lake Calcasieu. Captain Lee put us on a lot of good speckled trout yesterday. We decided to go show y'all what else he's got to offer down here. Fishing the jetties, redfish, jigs. Y'all stick around, we're gonna get back after them. The Fisherman's Guide is brought to you by Silver Slipper Casino, Dad Super Pond, Standard Mapping, Abu Garcia, Berkeley and Penn, Seato, Southern Building Supply, Ocean Marine Group, Biloxi and Mobile Boat Show, Oddball Tackle, Catcher's Mitt, Parker Poles, Red Tail Republic, Gorilla Wraps, and Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, and I would like to invite you to come on down and experience everything that the Silver Slipper has to offer. Now, whether you're looking for 24-7 Vegas-style action, or a great meal in any one of our award-winning restaurants, you need to be sure to take time to relax and enjoy our new beachside pool and pool bar while you're here. You know, we are proud to be your host on the coast, and we'll save you a seat up on the pool deck. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. When you trade with us, you always get a better.
Building a new home? Build it with brick and roofing from Southern Building Supply. Come see our showroom on County Farm Road in Gulfport. We have a wide range of brick in the most popular styles and colors, and our selection of high-quality shingles can add years to the life of your new roof. Southern Building Supply offers on-site delivery of your new brick and rooftop delivery of your new shingles. We're the only locally owned roofing and brick company. Call us today, 228-539-8380. Southern Building Supply. Those red tips are always on the filter side, you know. I got through over on this side. I jigged it once or twice, and it was donk. Love it. There's not a better feeling in the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. All right, so this is a little different setup than I'm used to using for jig fishing. At home, we're normally tying to a quarter ounce jig head and that's it there's so much water moving through here we're starting out with a half three eighths ounce jig head and we're adding another almost probably half ounce of weight right above it and we're going to take tip that with a piece of dead shrimp get it on there whenever you're doing this and you're tipping baits you don't want to use a whole shrimp you don't want to use a big piece of shrimp it's going to make it easier for that shrimp to get pulled off. Smaller pieces are better because they're going to stay on longer. We're going to slide back in here and see if we can't get hooked up again. I've been fishing here since I was a little kid. Uh, you know, my dad first brought me when I was probably three years old here. And it's always been a place that I've pulled pretty near and dear and, and spent a lot of time and spent a lot of hours trying to figure this place out. It's, it's a pretty, pretty endless spot as far as figuring out new rocks and humps. Um, we fished a lot of tournaments out here, won a lot of money here. Oh, perfect, um, perfect. Just, it always produces. There's always redfish here. As long as the weather will let you play out here, you can normally catch some fish. So it's, it's a spot that we go and, and fish pretty regularly, especially if somebody wants to go get their rod bent. This is a good place to go and, and catch some big redfish. You don't know if you're going to hook a, a 16 incher or a, you know, a 50 incher. You never know. There's a lot of big fish here. I mean, that redfish just looked like he was built different. Yeah, that's in how this they are down here, man. That's well, running down here to fish that tournament. Those fish are just giant, man. Huge. Top heavy. You can get one to fit. Man. The only problem with these fish out here, though, their tails are always so much longer than a marsh fish. Yeah. You know, you, there he is. Get him! Let me know when I'm clear to kick on that shoulder motor. You're good. Woo! Not today! Come here! notice I'm not using my normal jig rod even though we're jig fishing we had to get something a little bit heavier for this year so conditions are very important for what we do and where we're doing it at today we're down here at the jetties we've got a lot a lot of things going our way and we've got a couple things that aren't going our way the one thing we do have working for us is this big emerald green incoming tide they love to feed on this incoming tide it brings a lot of bait in from the Gulf so conditions are right, wind's a little strong, it's fighting the current, but uh, I think we can remedy that and me and Ronnie are gonna get on them. Come here. Hey, it's my boy. Good job, brother. God, man, I tell you. Good job, man. With the amount of water moving through here and the way these fish are built, that fish felt like a 35, 40 inch redfish. They do, and he might be 30, you know, maybe 31 or so, but it's crazy. These fish, they sit in these boat cuts and they just gorge. And I mean, you can see the belly on that thing. Look how fat that fish is. Yeah, I mean, 
you've got piles and piles of food coming through there, and uh, they sit there and they feed. You know, it's when I told you strong. we were coming down that channel and saw that incoming tide, I knew we had this to look forward to. So strong, strong, strong. <laughs> and that's awesome. Let's get it back out there. And All get right, yeah, one. let's do it again. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up this pace, but <laughs> we'll find out. He's wearing me out, y'all. Y'all stick around. We'll be right back. I'm Shaw Grigsby, and this is my office. A sensational light tackle series saltwater boat from Triton. Whether you're sneaking up on monster reds in skinny water, fishing the tournament in a coastal bay or river, or headed for light offshore action for the trophy of your dreams, no other boat fishes, performs, and fuels your angling passion like a genuine Triton LTS. See them today at a nearby Triton dealer and at tritonboats.com. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Pen, let the battle begin. Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, and I would like to invite you to come on down and experience everything that the Silver Slipper has to offer. Now, whether you're looking for 24-7 Vegas-style action or a great meal in any one of our award-winning restaurants, you need to be sure to take time to relax and enjoy our new beachside pool and pool bar while you're here. You know, we are proud to be your host on the coast, and we'll save you a seat up on the pool deck. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. On this trip to Lake Charles, we ran into some biologists for the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. They asked us if they could sample some of the fish that we had caught that day. What they were doing here is removing otoliths. The otolith is a small bony structure behind the brain of a fish. With each year, a little more bone gets added to it. That's how they determine the age of each fish individually. The collection of otoliths is part of a statewide project that collects data from freshwater and saltwater fish, as well as multiple species. These ear bones are very important in aging fish, determining how fast they grow and how old they live to be. They're also used in stock assessments. These biologists are tasked with a big job. 15,000 fish are sampled each year. If you run into one at the ramp, Help them out, let them sample your fish. It's not gonna hurt the meat. They'll do their stuff real quick and you can take it home. Hard to imagine that wind would push you harder than that current. That's wind. what I was just sitting here thinking about. Incredible. There he is. Musical chairs. I'm on too. Doubled up. Doubled up. Well, on to it, Calcasu. On to it, Calcasu. <laughs> what it's about. Oh, it is so strong. <laughs> I mean, this is insane. This is one of the heaviest action rods that I've got and it's just doubled over. I think mine might actually be a piece of keeper. <sighs> this fish is a little bit bigger. Now, Ronnie must have a horseshoe hidden somewhere. I'm not sure, but man, he's catching them again today. And uh, all I can do is get the net, you know, and here we go. Finally, I get a double. Look at him right there. He lets me catch one. So now I feel like I'm getting into the game down there with him. And them. <laughs> they like each other. <laughs> uh, I had plans on me catching everything today and him maybe not getting bit, but that didn't turn out that way. So just got a double. So here we are again today. Ronnie's catching, I guess this is his third fish in a row now. And finally, I get thumped but I'm thumped as Ronnie's hooked up, of course, so I get to share the victory with him and we catch this double. 
and uh, we can't wait to get our lines back in the water. What we're doing, we're fishing this boat bay. It's an actual passage through the jetty, and it just it condenses that current into one little spot, and uh, these redfish stack up in there towards on the shrimp and mullet, ribbon fish, and whatever they can get their lips on, but it makes for some pretty good fishing, as you can see. Folks, if you're traveling through Lake Calcasieu, you live in Lake Charles, save your money on the gym memberships, just come see Lee, because he will give you a workout, I promise. Pretty fish, we're gonna let this one go. Well, fishing shrimp down here is, is no new secret. Uh, you know, everybody fishing dead shrimp down here for, for redfish a lot of times, especially in the winter time when the water can be a little dirtier. Uh, but we always jig these fish uh, on artificial, and we know that putting a little bit of scent down there can make all the difference in the world. So it was just a natural progression to, to start doing that down here. Another thing too, if you'll take a look at these jetties, you know, a lot of people want to throw straight at the, straight at the rocks, but a lot of times those, those better fish are about 10 foot off, especially here at the Calcasieu Rocks. You, know, you never want to throw right at the rocks if you're targeting these bigger redfish. You want to throw about 10, 15 foot off and really focus on the ledge instead of the actual rock. Those birds are getting after it on something down there. Sometimes you can throw in there and you can feel the fish hitting your, you know, your line. They're so thick in there. Or maybe it is. It is. It feels like a drum. right stuff there. He didn't feel right when I hooked him. A little. A little Momas Grande there. The bite has slowed down a little bit here at the boat bay, or the boat cut as we call it. So we're easing on down to the end of the rocks on the outside west. I see a lot of water coming through the rocks on this big incoming tide. I know those redfish are going to be forced up in there and, and eating a lot of mullet and shrimp coming through that water. Well, I'd love to see this water sitting here come July. Talk about some good trout. A lot of good fish out here. Or your angle's kind of jacked up. These are a different breed of fish out here. These are very fat red fish. We target them a lot of times during tournaments. They're big, big fish, and they're big for a reason. These fish are sitting out here because there's a lot of bait. High volume amount of bait coming through these cuts, sitting on these rocks, and it's all because of the gulf right here. The beach is really close, tons of bait, and when you have tons of bait and tide, you're gonna have tons of fish. Another nice fish. Healed it. Choked it. Another good fish there right there. No. Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, and I would like to invite you to come on down and experience everything that the Silver Slipper has to offer. Now, whether you're looking for 24-7 Vegas-style action or a great meal in any one of our award-winning restaurants, you need to be sure to take time to relax and enjoy our new beachside pool and pool bar while you're here. You know, we are proud to be your host on the coast, and we'll save you a seat up on the pool deck. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. When you trade with us, you always get a best. Super deals are why. Whether you sell or buy, we cash checks, we pay bills, we make loans like no one will, and help you.
This is Don Dubuque for the Biloxi Boat Show coming to the Mississippi Coast Coliseum February 2nd. Get the best prices of the year. Plus, it's great fun for the whole family. Get fishing tips from the pros. Shop for electronics, tackle, charter guides, marine accessories, and more. Financing available at the show, so find a boat that fits your budget and join us on the water. The Biloxi Boat Show. It's worth the drive from anywhere. February 2nd through the 4th at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum, sponsored in part by Mercedes-Benz of South Mississippi. Like I said, it's like that magic line they like to get on you know, about 10, 15 yards out. There he is. Didn't even have time to get down. So this move definitely paid off. We moved to the end. First cast, Ronnie throws up towards the rocks after I tell him not to throw towards the rocks, and he's hooked up. Uh, There's one of them small ones. Totally little guy. On the rocks. Little guy. Little ones on the rocks, the big ones are out. Keeper, though. Yeah, he's a keeper. Look how fat he is. God. Fish are just built different out here. We're gonna get back to pitching into these rocks, but I'm gonna send y'all over to check out what Chef Corey's got going on today. We'll see you back here in just a little bit. Hey guys, Chef Corey Hudson here again with Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Today, we're making seafood risotto. The ingredients you need for this dish are one onion, small dice, one tablespoon of olive oil, five tablespoons of unsalted butter, five cups of chicken stock, one and a half cups of arborio rice, 12 to 16 shrimp, size to your liking, one teaspoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of blackening seasoning, three ounces of jumbo lump crab meat, six ounces of seafood stock, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, sprinkle Parmesan cheese and green onion for garnish, and half a cup of white wine. First, let's make the risotto, and then we'll prepare the seafood sauce. You need a large saute pan, add one tablespoon of olive oil and four tablespoons of butter, and you just wanna let the onions brown. And when they start to become translucent, then you can add in your rice, and with a wooden spoon, just stir it for a few minutes. Add just enough stock to cover the rice, and just let it simmer, stirring frequently. Now as this rice absorbs this stock, you're gonna wanna add a half a cup of stock after that. It's a cooking process. Every time it soaks it up, add another cup and a half. And once that's done, we'll set it aside. You just don't wanna overcook your rice. In another medium-sized saucepan, add one tablespoon of olive oil, and then you can throw in your shrimp and your seasoning. Saute this for about three minutes, and then add your flour. You wanna saute it for about 30 seconds or so, and then we're gonna add the white wine and the seafood food stock to deglaze. Then you throw in your crab meat, reduce this sauce by about half until it thickens up, place some risotto in a plate and top it with this delicious seafood sauce. If you want, you can serve it over some French bread. This recipe is so good that it stays on the menu here at Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Doesn't like that deep water thump, huh? Or he just grabbed it. I love it. Yeah, no, that one there, he just grabbed it. He just ate. He declined the, the salad appetizer. <laughs> So much fun. Uh, come here. Come here. I just want to talk to you. Woo! I just want to talk to him, huh? Woo! Just a little talk. And that is the point in time where I knew that we were on the mother load right there. And we sat there at the end of the rocks and wore them out until Roddy couldn't take any more and neither could myself. So. The way these fish feel, it blows my mind whenever they get up here and I see how long they are. It seems like they should be twice as long. We're sitting over here at the end of the rocks and we are slamming the redfish, every drop getting thumped. Doesn't get any better than this right now. Get 
Yeah, that's a fight you can normally expect from your typical, you know, 35, 40 inch fish. Yeah. And that's nothing but a 28, 29 inch redfish right there. He's wearing me out, y'all. I'm tired. Somebody's right. got to do it, though. That's it, man. Somebody's got to do it. Let's go get us another one. Wow. Another one. <laughs> go. That took a while. Yeah. That took a long while. I'd appreciate it if you get me hooked up a little quicker next time. That took like three seconds. Yeah, we'll try to expedite that for you next yeah. time. Yeah. As if you come down, try to find somebody to put you on the fish quick. This guy's taking like seconds to get us on him. Oh! Hey, you want Mickey Mouse? 866 <laughs> miles that way. If you want a red fish, come see us. I love it. <laughs> My black armpit. That's a little bigger fish, actually. Yeah, I was wondering why it came right to the boat. <laughs> that one came in easier than the other one you caught. Those little ones, they're feisty, man. They got spunk. Well, I think they're equivalent to about a 25-year-old, 30-year-old, as opposed to some of those big ones. You know, they they fight good, but they'll tire out. <laughs> These don't have much quick. Lee, Good job, man. you put us on them again. You never fail to produce. We changed things up today. Decided to put some bend in these rods. We caught the smuggle trout yesterday. Look, they got a diverse fishery down here. It's a lot of fun. If you get in this area, give Captain Lee a call. You will not regret it. Good job, brother. Let's get that one back. All right. Whew. I don't think it's going to take a whole lot. The Fisherman's Guide is brought to you by Silver Slipper Casino, Dad Super Pond, Standard Mapping, Abu Garcia, Berkeley and Penn, Seato, Southern Building Supply, Ocean Marine Group, Biloxi and Mobile Boat Show, Oddball Tackle, Catcher's Mitt, Parker Poles, Red Tail Republic, Gorilla Wraps, and Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine.